In this video, I will show you how to connect your Firebase project with your Flutter application. Okay, let's start this. First, inside our Firebase console, we will add an app. So on this button, you click on it and you will find an iOS icon. You press on it. Perfect. Now inside the register app, we will need the iOS bundle. If we go over the interrogation, we can see that it is inside Xcode and bundle identifier. We will go inside our finder. Right here, we have the MacBook. So in the home folder, we go inside Android Studio project, and then we find the Flutter app Firebase login. We press on it, and then we can find the iOS folder. We press, and we have the runner.exe workspace. Double click, and this will open Xcode for us. Okay, perfect. So what we need inside Firebase, so we will go back inside the website and we can see it is the iOS bundle ID. So where it is. Inside Xcode, you can go over runner, double click on it, and just be sure to not be inside the project, but inside the target instead. And then you will find the bundle identifier right here. We will replace the example by testing. And this is uh, something we need to do because sometimes this can create error. We will copy the bundle identifier and paste it right here. Then the app nickname. We will add the same name, so Flutter app Firebase login. Okay. On the next step, the app uh, ID, it's optional, so we will don't do it. So we click on next step and then we will need to download the Google services info.plist. We click on it. Then this will download uh, the file and I will download it inside my download folder. Perfect. Then I can save it. And what I will do is open this folder. So I will go inside this arrow and press show in finder. Okay. Now we have it. Then we will come back inside the Xcode and I will just minimize the Xcode because we will do a drag and, drag and drop. Okay, so we take the Google services info.plist, we drag it and drop it inside the runner folder and under info.plist. Perfect. Then you need to make sure to have the runner activated and you need to make sure that the copy item is needed, is activated as well. So both of them need to be checked. You press OK. OK, that's perfect. Then what we need else to do, we go back inside our Firebase project, we click Next, and as you can see the step tree, because we are in Flutter and we use Flutter, we don't need this because this is for iOS app. Then we can, cl we can click Next, and this section as well, it will be uh, for something else. So Flutter will handle everything. So you can click next once again, and you can click on continue to the console. So we have successfully add our Firebase project inside our app. See you on the next one.